Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. What we're going to do now is in small groups, we're going to, and I mentioned this in the beginning, share positive empathy stories in healthcare. I mean, I, I get to spend 45 minutes to an hour with each patient. So, it's completely different than the training that I received in medical school where we had to, you know, we had 15 minutes of it. Yeah. And it, 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 was, it was hard to not see people as a symptom or, um, you know, it was depersonalized. But I think in actually um, coming into practice and being able to practice uh, how I want to practice and being able to spend time with the patients, talk about that? It's, it's completely different. Well, I mean, I think you provide a specific example of a patient or something, but the idea being like you're recognizing them as a person with an expression of their own health and wisdom. Um, the relationship that I have with her is it's almost as if she's a friend, and, she, and the way that we, we come together is uh, it's, it's very cooperative. And so she, she calls me, and, and we talk, and, and she'll tell me, oh, this is what's going on. You know, I, I've experienced some, you know, some new stools or something this week, and, and so we'll go through and, and try and figure out together you know, what was what's the cause of that. And, uh, I think it's just been the, what she relates to me is, is how grateful she is as a patient. What I feel in, in myself is how grateful I am to, to, to work with this person and to have the opportunity to, um, to learn myself about, about health in a patient, about, about communicating with the patient, about, about empathy. You reminded me actually the story that I, I came up with, and that is because I couldn't think of a of, 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 of standard medical doctor situation, but I've had a relationship with a dentist for as long as I've been in Berkeley. And I, once again, and I think there's a, 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 a friend, you know, we have a relationship that's throughout the years, and a friendship. So so I know him, he knows me, and, and it sort of creates a, a, it's, it creates a level of trust, basically, what happens. And I think that's what's missing in a lot of, of, uh, of doctor-patient relationships, where the doctor always comes in, and they, but the, the standard uh, is always seven minutes. Right. That a, per, that a doctor actually sees a patient. How, where's the, where, how can you develop any kind of trust? And I think it's it's hard for a physician when they um, when they they're given that time constraint, but when, when they also feel responsible for the patient in that way. Um, when they when they have that responsibility feeling, it's hard because. Um, you're worried about the making aspect mistakes of trust, or over yeah. There. Yeah. 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 You don't want to mess up. You, and so I think for that, when that barrier comes down, pa patient and physician are able to engage in a different way and, and able to form a friendship and collaboration. So what I was talking about was um, how in my practice uh, I've been given the opportunity to spend not just 15 minutes or 10 minutes with the patient, but I, I get to spend 45 minutes to an hour with each patient. And so it's, it's quite a different practice. And, um, and I just wanted to share a story, or I shared a story regarding one of my patients. And this is a patient I've had for a couple of years now. And she, uh, she's uh, a, a, actually a good friend of mine now. And um, we've, we've developed this relationship where she, she'll get, call me up and say, oh, I'm experiencing this or that, and, and what do you think it could be? You know, I have, I have this going on with my stools. That, and, and, and so we'll work together on um, what it is that's going on with her. We'll go through her diet and, and, um, and uh, what she's expressed to me recently was that she's so grateful to have, uh, to work with me as her physician. And what I feel inside is that I, I'm so grateful to have her as my patient. And, mm. and so I just wanted to 
I was eating a piece of candy from my, my sister's wedding and the candy broke off the front part of one of my teeth in the front and I like, oh boy, one of the porcelain crowns, guys, hello. <laughs> and so I went to the dentist and I, it cost a lot of money for that one crown because Denny Kale doesn't pay for a front porcelain crowns. So I paid for it, a lot of hard work, paid for that crown. Went to the dentist and he put it back on for me and he said, you'll be okay. And I got my smile back. That's why I'm here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Cherry Williams. <laughs> and uh, she's 89 years old. She's in really pretty good oh, shape. Me. Oh, and when she goes me. to the doctor, Dr. Fong at Kaiser Hospital in Oakland, they sit down and they have conversation. She actually tells him what it is that he should do for her. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and they have this on back and forth, back and forth, and they've had this wonderful doctor-patient relationship, and obviously she is a nurse practitioner, you know, professional. They've had this relationship going on 40 years. Wow. wow. That's great. So I just wanted to share the positive side of the communication between the patient and her doctor, and you know, perhaps you might have some ideas. You don't have to be in the medical field. You might have some ideas and just share it with your physician. You know, I do, and I'm not even in the medical field. <laughs> this is probably encouraging for some people. My mother, I was telling the story at the table, my mother is a retired registered nurse, nurse practitioner. And um, she's 89 years old. She's in really pretty good shape. And when she goes to the doctor, Dr. Fong at Kaiser Hospital in Oakland, they sit down and they have conversation. She actually tells him what it is that he should do for her. <laughs> really? And, uh, you know, and they have this on back and forth, back and forth, and they've had this wonderful doctor-patient relationship, and obviously she is a nurse practitioner, you know, professional. They've had this relationship going on 40 years. Wow. wow. That's great. So I just wanted to share the positive side of the communication between a patient and her doctor. And, you know, Perhaps you might have some ideas. You don't have to be in the medical field. You might have some ideas and just share it with your physician. You know, I do, and I'm not even in the medical field. 